Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you what a Razer View Engine is. So before I speak about Razer View Engine, let me demonstrate this. I have a message welcome. Now beside this, I am going to put a character at and I will start writing my server side code. I will say datetime dot now dot to string. Then I'll just put a bold tag and in this I'm going to write good. Now this is the power of Razer View Engine. You can have your static text and dynamic text in a view and that to side by side. And you can differentiate that with the help of a single character at. That's it. So this is your Razer View Engine. You can write dynamic code along with your static text. Or you can generate dynamic text along with your static text. Now I'll just save this and I'll try to execute it. Now if you see that it displays welcome then here it is generating the date time then it is displaying good so with the help of razor view engine you can switch between static html content and dynamic html content just with the help of at character so this is the power of razor view engine now i can do my programming with the help of same at and I can go for a block now this is your code block syntax now in this I can write my complete C sharp code I can write my complete dynamic code I can say int a equals to 10 b equals 20 and c so I have declared three variables a b c now I can say c equals a plus b that means I am trying to store the result of a plus b in the variable c. Now this is completely a C sharp code or dynamic code. Now I can say I will just go for br tag and then I will say your result is at c. and I'll just give a full stop now if you observe I'm switching between the static and the dynamic code I say welcome static code at dynamic code then my static code and markup code then I have some dynamic code then my markup and some static code then again dynamic so switching between your static and dynamic code with the help of at symbol is nothing but your razor view engine I'll save this and I'll try to execute this now you can see that the result is 30 so it is switching between your static and dynamic code I can also go for writing some programming logic I can say at if a is greater than b then I'm, I'm going to display something else I'm going to display something if a is greater than b I want to display something so I'll just go for some paragraph tag and in this I'll display that The greater is a else I'll simply copy this and I'll say greater is B that means I can control the complete view that I am generating with the help of my programming logic which follows the C sharp syntax now I'll just put a br tag here 
save this and let me refresh this it says the greater is 20 so the greater is 20 that is b in the same way i can write my loops so before that i'll do one thing i'll just try to have an array i'll just say ar equals to 56 78 90 45 34 now i want to iterate through these elements so i can use for each loop i can come down and i can say at for each where item in array and i can put it in a list so i can have an unordered list and i can iterate the list element in this way now my each element is dynamic so i can say at item i'll save this it should regenerate the list see that it has generated the list that means what i have full control over the view with the help of razor view engine and i can apply my programming logic in the view the same way i can go for writing n number of code blocks like i have written a code block here so wherever i need i can write a code block at I, I get a code block and i can write some dynamic code i can define a class i can create an object of a class anything i can do now for example i'll just create i'll try to create an object of class date time dt equals to new date time now once i have the object now i can work with it you might be getting a doubt if i want to render at symbol that means if i want to render your email id is md dot manzoor ahmed at gmail.com is that it is going to identify so we can use skip sequence character kind of logic here i can use at twice and this i'll put it in a paragraph tag and save this if i'm updating something in the view i need not to re-execute the code i just refresh it i get it so i get this so your reserve view engine is so intelligent that it will understand whenever there are two time or whenever at repeats it is going to generate at character as is so this is a basic introduction about your reserve view engine so most probably we would be using for each if else whenever we are we are planning to generate our views so you can have your complete C sharp logic on the view. You can write your do while loop, you can write your while loop, you can create some structure, you can create classes and objects and, and blah blah blah. Whatever you want, you can do it here. And moreover, you can also go for rewriting the same form with the help of Razor View Engine's helper classes. We call it as HTML helper classes. Now, if I comment out this, this is nothing but an input tag of type text, which is generating a text box. Instead of this, I can use HTML helper classes. So, at HTML dot, I can say text box. And I can give the name of the text box. That is nothing but N underscore, what is that? H. That's it. 
save this instead of me writing the complete tag i can simply say html dot text box of name that is an underscore age it is going to set the name attribute as well as the id attribute to n underscore age now save this i'll just try to refresh and i have the same form even though i do not have the input tag i have commented this this is how you go for writing the comment at star start the comment and star at ends the comment if i say f12 if i try to inspect the element you can see that i have generated the same input tag on the output screen so i can use html helper classes to reduce my code or instead of me writing the tags explicitly i can use html helper classes to generate the complete form so in our next video we will try to rewrite the complete form using html helper classes so that's it for this video thank you very much